This is Gemara Nazir Daf Nun Vav. Apologies for the lateness of today's Daf and the lack of video. But we pick it up on the bottom of Nun Hey Amid Bees, and we're in the middle of this din of Rav Chista. And just to remind ourselves, this goes back to yesterday on Nun Hey Amid Aleph, in which Rav Chista, which Rav Chista taught us that the days of Mitzayra are able to be counted. On the bottom of Nun Hey Amid Aleph, Rav Chista taught us five lines from the bottom, that Loishanu Elo Benazir's Mu'etes, Avol Benazir's Meruba, Mislak, Nami, Salik, Lei. That says, Rav Zira, that when you have a Nazir's Meruba, the days of Tzaras, and the days of the Tiglachas, can be counted towards the Nazir's. So that is what we're going to pick up with today. Today we're really going to deal with two kashas on Rav Chista. So, Masiv Rami Bar Chama Kasha, number one. We begin with two lines on the bottom, the Nehem and Beis, Rami Bar Chama. Nazir Shayatame Bisafik, Umuchlat Bisafik. So now we have a Nazir that he's not sure if he's Tamimis, and he's not sure if he is a Mitzayra. Now, this is going to cause a serious headache. Just to remind ourselves, a Nazir and a Mitzayra both have a din of Tiglachas. They have to shave their hair of their body. But in reality, there are two dinam of Tiglachas any time that a Nazir becomes a Mitzayra, has Saras, really comes to clash with each other. Let's just speak this out. This is a point that we've had many times, but we have to make sure that we have this extra clear to understand what's about to happen. A Nazir is not allowed to cut his hair. That's one of the pretenses, one of the basic dinim. Of Nazirus, excellent. A Mitzayra has to cut his ear when his saras ends. The only way for a Mitzayra to get rid of his saras is to shave his body once and then to shave the body again. Two different dinam of Tiglachas. So normally, if a Nazir become, contracts saras, then finally the Kain Baskin said he's good to go. What happens? The Nazir has no problem. The Nazir goes... And shaves his head, and shaves his body. Ah, a Nazir is not allowed to shave. The answer to that question is, the din of the Mitzayra shaving overrides the din of Nazir not being able to shave. That is a din in a normal Nazir and a normal Mitzayra. But in our case, we have a very unique situation. You have a Nazir that is not sure if he has saras as well as he's not sure if he's Tamimis. Because he's not sure if he has Saras, is he going to be allowed to shave to get rid of his Saras? No, it's a Suffolk. So the Suffolk can't be done during the days of Naziris. So the basic idea of what's going to have to happen is he's going to have to wait until the days of Naziris should theoretically end. Once the days of Naziris should theoretically end, now he's allowed to shave. But the problem is, we don't necessarily know whether he was actually a Nazir or not. And now he has to shave a second time for Mitzayra. And now after the second shaving of Mitzayra 30 days later, we're still not sure whether he fulfilled his days of Naziris. Why? Because he might have been Tame. So now he has to go and he has to wait another 30 days to take care of his potential Nazir Tame. Now we're at day number 90. Now he's going to have to wait another 30 days because maybe now is the first time he became Tar and then have his Nazir Tar. So because this guy is not sure if A, he has Saras, and if B, he has a Toma of Tamei Meis, he's in serious hot water. Again, let's just speak this out one more time. The fact that he is a Nazir is... I don't want to say Halbatzar, but the fact that he's a Nazir, he has to deal with. Now, he doesn't know if he has Saras. But the only way to conclude his Naziris is if he first concludes his Mitzayra, his Saras. But he can't conclude his Saras because he's not allowed to shave. Why is he not allowed to shave? Because he's a Nazir. So now he has to wait, oh, he has to wait out all eventual possibilities. So again, the first 30 days he waits, now is the first time that maybe his Nazir ended. So now he can shave time number one of Mitzayra. He waits another 30 days, and now he can shave time number two of Mitzayra. Excellent. So now he took care of his, his Mitzayra obligations the first 60 days. 
But now the question is, we don't know if he was to me mace. If he was to me mace, now it means he never fulfilled his Niziros. Because he was a Nazir Tameh. So now he has to wait another 30 days and shave for the Naziris of Tameh. And then the final 30 days will finally allow him to shave for Nazir Tar. So what's going to happen is he's going to need 120 days to get out of the whole story. So the top of Nanvav Amralf, and if anyone is wondering what in the world is asking the Rechista, hold on for a moment. Says the Gemara in the top of Nanvav Amralf, Eichel Bekad Sheim Nachar Shishim Yoim. After 60 days, he's not eating kachim. Because after 60 days, he got rid of his mitzayra, his saras, as we spoke about, for the double tiglachas, 30 days and 30 days. Vishayin, then he could be drink wine. And after 120 days, meaning that's when he'll be able to get rid of his niziros, case number one. Vitani Allah, we learned on this three lines down in Vam and Aleph. Bahamed Varimamurim Beniziros Muetes. Abu Beniziros Bashana. But when it's in the zeros of a year, so now what happens? Eichel Bekachem Nachar Shteishanim. Vishayinim Tam Lemezim Nachar Bashanim. Very simply, instead of everything being 30 days like in the zeros Muetes, if there's an Aziris Maruba of a year, so then he has to wait a full year before the first shaving. Why? Because maybe he was in Nazir. He's not allowed to shave while he's in Nazir. So only after year number one can he take care of the din of Tiglachas of shaving of a Mitzayra. Then he waits another whole year and then he takes care of the second din of Tiglachas of Mitzayra. Then he waits another whole year and he takes care of Nazirus of his potential Nazirus Tameh, being Tameh Mace. And then finally after the fourth year is when he becomes Kabbalah Tar and he can drink wine again. So now is the Kasha on Rav Chista. According to Rav Chista, Salkin Le'yaymi, that by Naziros Merubah, what did Rav Chista hold? He held that the din, that the days of Mitzayrah could, yes, help to count towards his days of Naziros. So then those first two years in which he is awaiting the Tiglachas for Mitzayrah, according to Rav Chista, should count for his Nazirus. So Tiskilei Mishalei Shanim Ushleishim Yoim. Therefore, it's true you have to wait a year for the, for the uh, suffix to me mace. But after three years and 30 days, you should not need that last year for your Nazir Tahar. Why not? Because you could fulfill your din of Nazir while you're waiting for your din of Mitzayra. Kasha of the Gemara on Rav Chista. Ve'oid Masiv Ravashi. Kasha number two, ten lines down, first word line is Yoin. As Ravashi further, says the Brisa in the Elimei Toma, says the Brisa from the Pesukim only know that the days are Toma, Shein Adelam and Aminian do not count towards the days of the zeros, the days of Tamei Meis. Mechaluta Minayin, how do we know the days of his saras? So says the rice of it din who it's a kalvachaimer. You may toma megalech or maybe carbon for for the tme mace when a nazir becomes tamita corpse. What's the din you have to shave and you have to bring carbon ice? If you remember, we had this already. And the days of the comparison between Nazir and Mitzayra, and the days of Chalutai, of confinement of the Tzaras, as well, you shave and bring a carbon. So because the two dinam of similar, just like the days of Toma, do not <coughs> count of the Tomei maze of the corpse of the dead body. So cash number two on Rav Chista is that the Brisa says explicitly that you may chalutai the days of the tsaras, the days of the confinement are in oilum loy min minyan does not differentiate whether it is whether it is excuse me, it does not differentiate whether it is a Nazirus Mu'etis or Nazirus Merubah, it's an Eilun Lai, Min A Minyin. Says the Gemara, Lai, this is answering of Kasha number two from the Braisa. Imam Rebbe Meitu Masash Kim Mavatal Ben Asa Koin Min, when it comes to the days of Toma, it's Mavatal Yon Nazirus, Tamer Be Chalutah Shein Mavatal Ben Asa Koin Min. So the two cannot be equated to each other. So says the Gemara, you're right, you can't use a Mamotzinu. 
So Amri Kalvachaimer. Now the fine nuance of difference between Mamatin and Kalvachaimer is, of course, a bit difficult. It says the Gemara lets learn a similar limud via Kalvachaimer. Uman Nazir be kever. Shesayro yro yilitig lachas. And yet, Nazirus ain't oilinoy mina minin. When we have a Nazir, Again, it's just, it's just, it's just bring back memories. A Nazir who became a Nazir in a Bezak Farois, which of course is somewhat of an impossibility, because the Nazir is not allowed to become Tameh, and he's standing in an area of Toma, he's standing in the Bezak Farois, and he accepts upon himself the zeros. So says the Gemara, Uma Nazir Bekaver, for Nazir is in a Bezak Farois, Shesayra is royal at Tiglachas Nazirois, that even though he is theoretically able to shave his head. Why is he theoretically able to shave his head? Because he's, yesterday was a nothing. He's a regular person. He was a regular Joe. Then he went into basic virus, became Tommy. And now he accepts the Zerus. So therefore, Sarah is right until the Zerus. Yet, in Eilin Loi Min Amin, in the days in which he is Tommy, due to the fact that he's in a basic vara, he's a cemetery, do not count for him. You may choluta in the days of Sarash, in Tzayu Royal Tiglachas Nizirus. In those days, his hair is not fit for Tiglachas Nizirus. The reason is because he has to first take care of the Tzaras, the Mitzayra, Loi, Kol Shekain. Certainly, the days should not count. Vainly, Ali, you may choluta. I only know the days that he's confined. You may sphira, I mean, how do we know you may sphere the days that he's counting for Saras Vidinu? And I can tell you a logical argument as we turn over to Nunvav Amid Vis. Says the Gemara, I'll tell you a nice Vara. Tap of Nunvav Amid Vis. Ma you may chalutai ta'un teglachas. When a Mitzayra is confined, he needs, there's a den of teglachas, af you may sephrai. So too, when he counts for him, saras, umay you may chalutai in olim in a minin, af you may sephrai. So says the Gemara, no. Yachol, I would think, af you may yisgirai, kain. Even the days that he's locked up, when the Kayin says that he is, excuse me, Haskero is the earlier stage, before he's actually muchlat. For we decide that he has saras when the kain is not sure if this saras is mitame, so they lock him up and he has to wait. So af you may, so I would think even you may scare a kain, but then now he's saying a cholot mitame mishkavu moishav. So on who's the definite mitzayra? He's mitame both by sitting and by lying down. Then they ask kira, and when someone is waiting, the pesach and his saras mitame mishkavu moishav is the same din. So l'mar to the mechaluta shein adul lo min aminyan af you may ask kira in adul lo min aminyan. We say the same thing. So it says the Gemara, Amri Loi, don't compare the two. Why? Because Amri Me Chaluta, Ishkin Chaluta, Itan Teglachas, who may be carbon. Lefiko Chayin Oilin Loi. Maybe the reason is by a Chaluta, by a Mitzayra that was determined to be a Mitzayra. Maybe the reason is he has to bring carbon ice. But Taimur Me Askero, when someone is just waiting to see if it's Saras, is indeed Saras, Shayin Tan Teglachas, Ain't a Mevi Carbon. Lefiko Chayin Oilin Loi, Minyan. So Mikan Amru. Says the Raisa, here's the punchline. Ye may sphira safra, ye may gamra, ye ain oilin loy min amin, ye Days of counting, and the days that he's confirmed in Mitzayra, do not count for him. Aval, ye may hazav, ve hazava, ve hazkira, ye shall Mitzayra, hare oilin loy. Those days do count for him. So that's a very, very long Raisa. Based on this Raisa, says the Gemara, now we can ask the Kasha on Rav Chista that we've been building to. So says the Gemara, about 15 lines down, the first one line is Veskeiroi, Katani Mios. What do we see that what do the Braises say? Loyim Amri Bei Tomash, Kin Mevato Bemesai Koinmin, Taimer Bei Chalutai. Should we not say this anything by Yemei Chalutai? So Bimai. What was the case of this Brisa that needed this Kalvachayim? Elaim ben Aziris Muatas. Habin and Gidal Sar. It can't be a case of Aziris Muatas because it's a din that you need to have at least a Gidal Sar, at least 30 days of hair growth in order to conclude the Nazirus. And in such a scenario, there was never be a Tzad to say. So therefore, it can't be talking about a Aziris Muatas. 
Alav min aziros miruba. Bekatani sheinayulam min aminyan. Al malois al kinei. And the Gemara says, Shema Mina, which is actually over here a form of, we'll call it a kasha, to Yofta, says the Gemara, that indeed we see that in all situations, that the days, Alma Loi Salkinlei, we see that the days do not count, not like Rav Chista wanted to say, and the Gemara concludes with a kasha on Rav Chista. Although it's late, let's begin the Mishnah. Amar Rav Elazar. We're halfway down Nun Vavam Abbas. Amar Rav Eliezer, excuse me, Mishim Rav Yeshua. Call Toma Mina Mesha Nazar Megalea Choleo. Chayovin Aleo Albiaz Mekdosh. Any Toma, Tomei Mace, Toma of a dead body that a Nazar has to shave his head for, he is Chayiv if he goes into the base of Mikdash in such a state of Toma. Any to be amazed that another would not shave his head on it, which we're gonna to have to see what exactly is referring to. Or I should say better, we've seen back on Daphne and Dalid that the cases of Tsaras, for example, or Zav or Zava, which are cases that if a Nazir touches them, the Nazir becomes Tame. However, the Nazir does not have to shave for them. So in those scenarios, ain chayavin alal bias miktish is no obligation, to, no issue, no uh, you're not chayav I should say to go into the base of miktish in that state. Amar Rav Meir lote zu kala min asheretz says Rav Meir nope nothing's doing. Just like if someone were to touch a sheretz, he's not allowed to go into the base of miktish. So too any form of tuma, even. A form of toma that a nazir would not necessarily have to be you do tiglachas over, for example, zav zava or mitzayra. Still, you cannot go into the base of mikdash with such a form of toma. Says the Gemara. Rav Eliezer, Mishem Rav Yeshua, Gamer La. Rav Eliezer, did he hear this, hear this directly? The Mishnah started off. Amar Rav Eliezer, Mishem Rav Yeshua. Asked the Gemara, did Rav Eliezer hear this directly from Rav Yeshua? How could that be? But it really, he learned it from Yeshua Bar Mamol. How do we know that? We have a price. When I went to a place called Ardaski, I was in front of a mayor, he was in front of a mayor, Balacha. Called him, I know I'm going to make a little bit of a little And he said this then, and he told him, and I'm that an Azir is obligated on, has the same din, that he's not allowed to go into the Beis HaMikdash. So Amar Lohi, so Amir responds, Altei Zukala min Hasharet, just like Ramir and Mishnah said, that no, just like Hasharet, you're obligated, so do any form of Tumma. So Amar Tilohi, so Rabbi Yezer, says, Yeshua ben Veter Roish, are you familiar? Are you a Baki in the Allah of Yeshua Marmol? So Yeshua Bar Petar Roish responded, Amr Lay, hey, Kach Amar Li Rabbi Amr of Yeshua Bar Mamul. This is indeed that which I heard from Yeshua Bar Mamul, Misham Rabbi Yeshua. That called Tom and Amish and Azumi Galeh, I have a little Misham Bias, make Dosh, Kotom and Amish and Azumi Galeh, Aleo, and I have a little Misham Bias, make Dosh. So this is a din. Sa- asks the Gemara in our Mishnah to name game. Our Mishnah said this din over in the name of Rabbi Yeshua straight. But ask the Gemara one second. Rabbi Yezer seems to have heard this from Rabbi Yeshua ben Potar, who said it over in the name of Rabbi Yeshua bar Gamal. So answers the Gemara four lines on the white lines. Havi Misham Rabbi Yeshua bar Gamal Gamar So you're right. It's really Rabbi Yeshua bar Gamal, and it's not that he heard it from Rabbi Yeshua ben Chananya. So Amru they said. Shema me know, you know we learn from here. Call Shemaitza Dimit Amra Bibay Tulasa. Any Shemaitza, any Allah that said over in the presence of three or more people, Kadmayu Basrai Amrinan, Mitsiyai Lai Amrinan. That if there's a three line progression who said over a din, we attribute it to the first and third, the Kadmayu Basrai, but the middle person gets lost in translation. And that's the reason why when Rebbe wrote over our Mishnah, he explains the Rosh. He said this din 
in the name Rav Eliezer, the name of Rav Yishuv ben Chananya, Rav Yishuv Astam is Rav Yishuv ben Chananya, and he left there Rav Yishuv Bar Mamol, who was the Msayi, he was the middle one. Says the Gemara, another example of this, a bit of a random example, just to prove that whenever we have three names, we say the, we say first and third, not the middle. Amar Rav Nachman Yitzchak, Afana Nami Tanina. With this, we conclude. We also learned this in a Mishnah, the first wide line. Amar Nachum Halablar. Nachon the Lablar says, I accepted the following din from Rabbi Yaisha, who heard it from his father, who heard it from the Zugois, a pair of Talmidim, who is probably referring to different explanations, potentially this referring to, but it's the, it's the generations during the Bayesheni, during the second base Migdash. Shaykiblum and Anavim, they accept from the Anavim, Halach Alamaisha, Misinai, that what? Bezaireya, Sheves, Vachardal, Bishnaim, Vishlisha, Mikamais. So in Plal, plants, Sheves and Chardal, dill and mustard, in two and three places, Shanais and Peah, Mikol Echad, Vechad. He has to give Peah the corner of the field from each and every type, the gar, the, um, excuse me, the dill and the mustard. The Ilur of Yeshua, the Kalev, Laika Chashiv. But Yeshua and Kalev, who were the people that heard it from Moshe before the Nevi'im, he did not list. So we see that when we have a three line progression, Moshe Rabbeinu, Yeshua Kalev, then the Nevi'im, he only said over Moshe and the Nevi'im, leaving out the middle level. Shema Mina, Satarai, is similar to our Mishnah. Then Yeshua said, when Eliezer says his name, when says his din, in the name of Yeshua, which is of Yeshua Min Chananya, it is indeed something that he heard from Yeshua Bar Mamol. You just don't list the middle person. We'll pick it up from the Mishnah in the next year. B'siyata Dishmaya.